Hi, this is Dan Hatch from Traction News and I'm here at the SEMA Show 2015 with John Sewell, the Vice President of Marketing at Omni United. Um, John, thanks for taking some time to talk to us. Thank you. I was really interested to uh, explore a little bit more this, this partnership between Omni United and, and Timberland. How is it that, uh, that a tyre company uh, is doing business with a clothing manufacturer? Yeah, it, at first blush it may seem like an unlikely partnership, but as you dig into the details and you understand a little bit of the history, it, it, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, Timberland has always been looking for a source of recycled tire rubber for the outsoles of their footwear. And uh, we are fundamentally a, a, a rubber company, so uh, we approached them with a, a potential solution, but we also proposed the idea of actually do a co-branding uh, partnership where they could actually take their own product and recycle it back into their own uh, footwear. So we have Timberland tires now. Exactly. And so tell me a little bit about the recycling process. How does a, does a tire go from being this to being a boot? It all starts with the original tire and the specifications. It's purposely designed considering the end use as an outsole on a, on, a, on a boot or a shoe. So, so it had to change the makeup of the original tire? Correct, yes. Okay. We have to take that into consideration. There's things that we can do with uh, particular materials. There's processes that uh, are tweaked considering the specifications that come from Timberland. So we take materials that are uh, specifically designed that have the wear capabilities, the non-marking capabilities, all of these types of things that you would expect out of uh, the outsole. When the tires wear out, we've um, made an arrangement with Lakin and Liberty so that the tires are uh, collected and then separated and it turns into this material. That's sort of the, crumbed into this stuff. Yeah, this is the first step. So here you still see the, uh, the cotton fiber and the steel. Of course, it moves down into the process in the crumbing, the, the fiber and the steel is, is taken out. It gets down to a 10 mesh. That 10 mesh is then devulcanized and further processed uh, into sheet rubber um, at, a, at a facility in Canada that we're using to do this. So it's starting to look a little bit more like something you could make the sole of a boot out of. It, exactly, at this point. exactly. That then gets put into the mold and simply molded into the outsole. And from that point, the uh, outsole is stitched into the upper and you have your final product. Great. So the, for, the, for the, uh, the, the people watching, if they've got a yard full of tires and uh, there, there will soon be some Timberland tires in amongst them, I'm sure. Right. How, does, how do those tires get from their yard you know, onto a boot? Right. Uh, it is really no interruption at all to their operating procedure. So when they replace a set of tires and they have the four takeoffs, they just put them in with their regular tires to be collected. And the actual uh, separation happens at the uh, recycling uh, facilities. So there's no impact to the tire dealer as far as having to mark them in a specific manner or s segregate them. It all just goes back to the main facility where we work with that collection provider to separate out the tires. John, that's really interesting. Thank you so much for your time. Thank I you. I really appreciate you taking the effort. Thank you.